gosh. Okay, so I used to be obsessed with the musical Annie. Um, I used to watch it like 10 times a day, and I had the record. Um, back then it was a record. <laughs> um, and I used to listen to it just like tons and tons, and I saw that my community theater was holding auditions for Annie, so I begged my parents, I was like, please take me so I can go see, I can go be in it and audition. They took me to the audition, and I got to play one of the little orphans. I was Molly, and ever since then, that's all I wanted to do was act. Totally. I think it's really, really important to start with classes. I think a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to go out there and I'm just going to be like cute and amazing and I'm going to get yeah. discovered, which, you know, totally like is great when you have an awesome personality, but it's really important to do your training. And I recommend doing comedy because it really just opens you up. And when you're not afraid to look stupid, then you can do anything you yeah. want. <laughs> fun because the first time I went in it was just for a co-star so I just had a really small part and during that episode because um, we shoot for a week we shoot Monday through Friday it just kept growing and growing the writers kept giving me new scenes so I was totally psyched it was like an actor's dream and everyone on the set as you know is so sweet and nice there's just like this great family atmosphere um, so every time I was there it just felt really welcome and happy and it's comedy so everyone was having a good time how was it shooting the movie? Well, it was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I know you're involved with some charities. What I am. charities are you involved with? I'm involved with a bunch. Um, one of the ones I really love is the Starlight Foundation. I'm a Star Power Ambassador. And the Starlight Foundation is for kids with serious illnesses. The Starlight Foundation helps them. Um, they educate them on how to deal with it. And they provide activities in the hospitals so that the kids don't get bored. And, you know, they're keeping their spirits up. And then they have celebrities come in and do like fun events or um, like they have an online chat room. So I went and talked to the kids for a while, um, different fundraisers and stuff. They're really fantastic organizations. They're one of the ones I love. Um, another one I work with is called Covenant House and that's a national organization. I work with the one in LA and it's specifically geared for homeless youth. So what they do is they take kids who are, well, they're not kids technically because they're 18 and over, but once they're done with high school, some of them have come out of like foster homes and they don't have any place to go. So they have a shelter, they educate them on how to get jobs, and they provide medical assistance, and they're just, they're absolutely fantastic. And I've visited them a few times because every once in a while I'll uh, host an event for them where I taught a class there once I did an improv class. They're just really great. You can tell as soon as you walk in the door that the people are really caring and you see these kids really responding to it. They really form a team with each other and they all support each other. And I love them. That's cool. <laughs> totally. Yes. All right, so bye everyone. Hope